What's up, tribe? So, I feel a little shamed coming on here. You know, it's been a minute since we've talked. Um, I don't want you to think that I bailed on you. Um, I sort of gave up on myself after the breakup. I went to a real dark place. Um, and then I caught a case, you know? Um, caught an assault with a firearm, 245, and... I just spent the, the last year in a, you know, a cell, you know, a single man cell. And I got to reflect a lot, you know, I was so grateful for the, the thoughts that I had. You know, I want to say thank you to my friends in Utah. I want to say thank you to my friends. And just, man, so many of you guys reached out. As soon as I pushed up my Facebook page, people were jamming me up. You know, my boy in Utah, he, he shot me a hundred bucks, man. Like, you guys all remember my beautiful apartment, you know? Now I'm at a homeless shelter, you know? My car got auctioned off five days before I got out. Um, my storage went up for auction three days ago, you know? I wasn't able to save it. Um, I'll tell you guys what happened. Uh, so, there's this guy in the building that was pushing up on Harriet. Now, mind you, this isn't a jealousy thing, okay? And you guys all know me. I like to keep uh, a solid, positive perspective on most things. And uh, it was late at night. It was like four in the morning or whatever. And he forced a hug on her, and then he kissed her on the cheeks or on the forehead or wherever. She said she moved around. And... Uh, then she came to me crying like, you know, oh my God, well, she was having a panic attack and she's not pretending, you know? And I thought to myself, no woman should have to experience that, man, you know? So I took off down the street and I took off down the hallway to his apartment. And mind you, I have no weapon. Why bring a gun to the first part of a conversation? A gun only gets involved when he doesn't understand what I'm trying to explain to him, you know? Um, but up until that, I don't need to go to a first part of a conversation with a gun, man. But anyway, that's what happened. He, he called the cops. He, I said, I went down there and told him, check this out, you fucking Fruit Loop. You know what I mean? Like, stay away from any woman in this building that's not requiring your attention. And I'm not saying that she's requiring it because you say she's requiring it, you know, because there's another woman in the building that he was also messing around, trying to mess around with. And she was an older lady. And I felt obligated to protect them both, you know? So, and then I go to court, I'm going to court and, you know, the public, my public defender seemed more like she was the district attorney. She, you know, she was offering me more time than the DA was. So, and that's because I, what I had done is I wrote out what happened, basically laying out this exact story. Um, I went down there, I, his door was open to his apartment. I pushed it open. I said, check this out, you fucking Fruit Loop. Fucking, if you don't leave that girl alone, I'm going to show up here with something that you're going to, you know what I mean? You're not going to get another chance. Let's just say that. But, you know, I did do all that. I'm going to admit to that. But I did not show up with a damn gun saying, doing, saying all the shit he said. And, you know, Harriet did show up to court. Um, and I appreciated that. But uh, she wrote out a perfect, a perfect, uh, what's it called? Incident report with the investigator. So I was positive I was going to ha get have a chance in trial. The day I, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm like, fuck that, let's go to trial, blah, blah, blah. And the DA, my public tender comes back there and she sits down, she draws it out, she goes, this is the deal. She goes, look, uh, you can get four years, eight months, you know what I mean? But they're offering you three today. And you know, I'm like, fuck it, I ain't taking no time today. You know, you're crazy. I'm all, go tell them, let's get ready for trial. And I go, otherwise you're not gonna be working for me anymore. And that's sort of what happened. She's no longer working for me. I fired her. Um, I, I negotiated with the DA myself. You know, I ended up getting a year. And uh, 
six years suspended and probation, you know, like, and now I'm having to go there every week. Um, made it out like I'm fucking insane or something, which is bullshit, man. I just wanted to protect a friend. So, I'm, I'm a little nervous right now talking with you guys. By the way, the reason I cut off is when I went into that dark place, you guys, I saw, uh, I saw another kind of attention, and I was, I went back to using. So, I just want everybody to know that that's not the case today. I'm cleaning this over. I'm, uh, I'm homeless, <laughs> so I got out uh, September 27th, and I was thinking about the channel. If I can. AJ Sandman was like, uh, everybody's asking about you. Everybody's asking about you. And I didn't want to get on this channel and tell you, hey, I fucking found a dark spot and I got loaded. And that's why I neglected the channel. Um, because, you know, according to the, uh, you know, where you type something nice about me or you type something foul about me, just the positivity was so overwhelming to me that I thought I I just can't just give up on this channel just yet. Um, I was in the hospital the whole time there. You know what I mean? Uh, not a good thing. So what happened was I caught cellulitis in there, and I was asking him every day, "Hey man, can you get me to the doctors?" You know what I mean? My legs fucking this big around, and they're like, "Let me see," and I'd show it to him, fucking. A couple smart ass sheriffs were like fucking oh that's just leg COVID don't trip and then I went into a high fever of uh, 105 uh, when they finally pulled me out that's what my fever was I mean I don't know how long I had it but I know this the day before my aunt and uncle which have passed were there they were talking with me it was as real as life you know what I mean so that was a trip man you know and then I ended up in, in the hospital uh, USC down there and I was there for two weeks and I got came back for a week and then I was there for another two weeks and then I came back and then I was there for another week so and then I was in 7200 for the remainder of the time in a single man cell um, peanut butter and jelly for lunch, breakfast one morning and then peanut butter and jelly for lunch the next day you know what I mean it was just crazy. I, I just can't believe they get to feed us like that. I can't believe they get to neglect us as long as he neglected me to go to the doctors. You know, the nurse was like, why didn't you guys bring him sooner? You know, um, I was so grateful to her, man, but like I was too delirious, really. I was hallucinating beyond all recognition. So listen, guys, there's too many people out here talking. I don't want to go on with the story. I will fill you in later. Um, I right, thank you for your time, man. And I'm sorry that fucking we, we haven't been together in a while, you know? I've missed you. So, thanks for tuning in, man. I really do appreciate you. Nothing but love and respect. This isn't the place to be, man. I mean, it's not the place to be. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, should be getting my grill this week. <laughs> I got some war stories on this one too, you know what I mean? Anyway, enjoy your life, stay out of trouble, and find some peace, man. All right.